Hello and welcome to Helsinki, where the weather is definitely appropriate to talk about icebreakers. ABB has won a wide scope of supply on what could be regarded as the most advanced icebreaker of all time. It will feature four Azipod units as well as a DC grid. I've been along to Aka Arctic, the designer of the vessel, to find out the details behind this very exciting vessel. One of the things that is very central uh, to, to this design are the fact that there are azipods uh, on, on the, on the yes. ship. Um, why are azipods suited for ice-going vessels? Benefit of, of azipods or azimuth propulsion units are the new, new way of breaking ice. We use the propeller flow to lubricate the hull. It, it reduces the friction between ice and the, and the ship hull. And this friction is a significant part of the ice breaking resistance. And also, also the propeller flow improves the ice breaking resistance by, by, by other means, especially when operating in the heavy rich fields and these kind of brash ice conditions which are prevailing in the Sabata port. I, I know there's been designs with two azipods, with three azipods, but this one's got four. This uh, is the four. Yeah, yeah. so why, why do you need four? Well, uh, the maneuverability of the ship is key and this brash ice capability. And the, in the port conditions, we had to be more or less equal uh, performance going ahead and backwards. So, so the shape of the hull is optimized so that, that, that we have an identical performance to go both ahead. And these propulsion units are, are or number of the propulsion units are the important feature in, the, in that performance. And, and what comes to maneuverability, now we have an excellent uh, maneuverability, a lot of thrust to sideways, and we can easily turn around the ship in the, in the short, in the, in the small location, small area of the ship. And the, and the last issue is this a brash ice. We can use the propeller flow to flushing the ice pieces away, and now we have uh, four units, two in the bow, two in the stern, be able to flush very efficiently or uh, in, in, in location, or even when the ship is moving, we can use the bow units to, to, to keep the vessel moving and to use the stern units to flushing the ice pieces away. And that's the feature which they definitely will use next to Keyside to help the LNG carriers in mooring operations, etc. If you could just give me an overview of, of how this ship will look in terms of uh, weight, in terms of size, it, I'm sure it, it sounds like an impressive vessel. It is impressive because it had to be small, compact size ship with a quite impressive performance. It can break 1.5 meter thick level ice and still the ship is, is uh, 85 meter long, 20 meter wide ship and can operate in relatively shallow waters also. The craft is 6.5 and the area in the Oppe area is, is, is quite quite shallow. So so this, this four archibots with with uh, three megawatt power each can provide the trust required for this, this uh, performance for the ship. Tell me about the power that's required for, the, for this ship because you're saying it's a relatively small vessel yet you've got four azipods on, on, on the ship and you've also got to get through this very thick ice so yeah. can you talk me through the power system of the ship. Yes, it, it is. It is uh, we have a four identical power units, three megawatt each, total power 20, 12 megawatts and the power system of the engine uh, on the ship is of course diesel electric with the with power plant principle and it's fitted with, uh, with the ABB DC grid uh, direct current, current system which brings the, the benefit to the design. Yeah, so, so I guess with the DC grid you save on some weight there? We have weight saving influence and the space saving influence and of course the positive impact is also that we can vary the diesel engine RPMs which have a minor influence to fuel consumption. Mm. I, I know you've been working with icebreakers for many years in terms of the ones that you know about. How does this compare to other icebreakers? This is the most advanced one ever. Uh, this is uh, in performance wise unique and size wise unique. Uh, typically, uh, the performance of this kind of, of this kind of performance is typically achieved by by higher power with the bigger ships, and we are now compressing it to be able to operate in the harbor basins and harbor conditions. So, 
So the, the compact size is, is critical. Mm -hmm.